Now, if you've used any DAW aside from Ableton Live, you're probably aware that a long note like this can be cut up using some kind of a tool or some kind of key command. But in Ableton Live, at least up to Ableton Live 11, the only way to cut a note would be to trim the note up to that point and then duplicate it and achieve what you want. But finally, in Ableton Live 12, after, I don't know, 23 years, you now have the ability to cut a note. So I'm on a Mac, I can hold down Command and tap E to cut the note at the cursor. So Command E, and I can make edits on the note wherever I'd like. Now in Ableton Live 12, they've taken this a step further. So I can hold down E, and you notice how my cursor looks a bit different. So I can just click to place my edits wherever I'd like. So I can do this much faster. And notice that we've actually turned off the grid as well. But if I hold down Option, now the cursor changes further. Now I'll click and drag on this note. And you notice how we're creating additional subdivisions. Now this is looking a lot messier. Let me undo all this. Let me just select one note. So I'll hold down E and then hold down Option. Now I'm gonna click and drag on this note. And I'm basically creating subdivisions for this one specific note. And you can choose how many subdivisions you want. Now this is a great way to create tuplets. Let's take a look at a practical example. So I have this pattern here. I'm gonna add a hi-hat, make it exactly one bar long. And let's cut here. Let's cut here again, and let's cut here as well. All right, so now I'm gonna hold down E. I'm gonna hold down Option, click and drag, and set this to five. On this one, I'm gonna hold down E, hold down Option, click and drag, and set this to six. And for this last one, hold down E, hold down Option, click and drag it to seven. So it's that easy to create tuplets in Ableton Live 12 now.